Welcome back everyone. My name is Paloma and this week we're gonna go ahead and continue with the fruit trees. So some of them were getting a little bit sad. They weren't getting enough water. Some of them were getting too much water. Um, and most of the ones that were supposed to fruit for spring slash summer already did that. And um, I figured that this would be the best time to plant them. It's not the best time in general in the year when you wanna plant fruit trees but because they were looking sad, um, I wanted to go ahead and get them in the ground since they weren't in the phase of focusing of actually producing fruit. And it's kind of going into that next phase. Yeah, I'm excited to show you what we did with the fruit trees and let me know what you think about the fruit trees. I figure I would give you all the summer garden update. The roses are getting ready to bud for their next cycle. The mandarin is starting to get some fruits ready and also growing new leaves and branches and pretty much I want to say everything is dead my mom's corn is doing good and these roses are also doing good now just look at those how beautiful and most of the spring flowers are dead and I'm letting them go to seed so that we can have more next time. Look at that, that's all flowers. And let's throw that in there. But what has changed a lot is this garden bed here. Look at this garden bed. It is completely, completely been pulled out and it's looking a little sad I gotta say there's some things that are thriving like the wahes do you look at that you see the tree it's full of wahes And then here we have caterpillar monarchs. But, and then here, look at these. And over here, these have come up so much more. Look at those cempasuchiles. They're as big as my hand. They're so beautiful. And everything just looks amazing. They've all come up, they're all doing their thing.
I just finished planting and here is the guava tree with a little temporary mulch until I can get some and then here are my roses look at them and my mandarin uh, not mandarin sorry nectarine tree and no mulch so I put this until I can get mulch for it and one thing when planting trees the graft point that's over here you want it away from the sun so the sun on the tree hits on this side it rises from here it hits this it sets down on this so this is away from where the sun rises but yeah i think overall pretty good this one was getting sad i could tell that it was um getting sad and i was waiting till the fall to plant them but i'd much rather plant it now then have it die on me um and so that's why i decided and good thing i did because the root ball was not fun and here is another one that was wanting to die on me and i've been giving it extra water and good thing i planted it because now the root ball was starting to get moldy because of the extra water um, i think i just needed to find the correct balance and now in the ground it'll have that um, but it's gonna be guava season soon and I'm excited for guavas. All right, I feel so much better now that I've showered. I'm going to uh, have some food. Then by that time it might be three and then my mom might be getting out. So I'm gonna see if she wants to go to Home Depot with me to pick up some soil. And then I plant some plants, continue planting some plants and then once it's nice and cool and not as warm anymore i'm gonna go ahead and water the garden Mire. Huelen bien ricas. Sí. ¿Verdad? Sí. Sí, sí. Y hoy corté las dos manzanas en la mañana. También. Van a estar ricas. Sí, sí. Ahí pongan sus. Ok. A veces ahí hay más calabaza, también ya vamos a cortar. Córtelas. Ya están bien grandes. Le quité. Ya está tzonzo. Tzonzo, tzonzo, tzonzo.
peach tree planted, we harvested the fruit, and now there it is. Um, and look at that, this is how heavy the plant was with all the fruit. And so we need to be more careful next time with thinning out the fruits so it doesn't break the branch. And there was only two branches that broke this one and one that I believe I already cut off. She's taking the dirt that I just dug up. She's too cute and the peach is looking cute. There's really not much else we could do out here. It's starting to get dark and you can see the solar lights have started to turn on. ¿Su gusto de qué? Se acabó mi bulto de piel. <risa> Tomorrow we'll go ahead and water it. And then also, here's the pomegranate. And you can see it's got a pomegranate flower over here as well that's opened up. Isn't that so cute? And we got more guavas here. I think overall the garden is looking beautiful.
going to a dinner party and I'm gonna try to harvest the cucumbers that I saw were growing so that I could take it with me. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó, gorda? Are you a gordis? Yeah! Ay, qué gordis! that the plants are good they're looking okay yeah they look okay so they said some type of vegetable I'm thinking a quick little squash that's down there. <laughs> you see that? Maybe that's one. I'm thinking this could be one, but maybe it needs to be cooked. I think just overall the cucumbers will be perfect the cucumbers right there so let me get my shears Good one. I thought I had. I do. It's over there. Babies. I think this might be ready. Hello everyone. I just got back from the garden, the community garden. It's been a while since I've been there and actually went and helped out and just hung out with people. And it was very good, um, very like, I don't know. It's just a different thing gardening with others and gardening by yourself in your garden. Um, and it felt good and <laughs> I have a lot of suggestions. Um, and we repotted some dragon fruit that they had um, that was starting to root into the ground but with the pot on there um, and gave it a little bit of support. They harvested cucumbers, squash, uh, 
lots of cherry tomatoes um, kale and other things but I wasn't part of the harvesting us uh, group and then there was another group that was putting up like shade cloth um, for everyone and then another group that was turning compost so it's always really good to just be like in the garden in the space um, in community the garden just changed so much I was like oh, it's gonna be so sad it's, it's like the things that I have planted for the summer are done I'm taking them out and they're turning into like seeding and I really didn't want to plant anything again because it's so hot and you get more pests I feel like during the summer um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and wait for us to prep for the fall which I have a video for y'all um, well I already have a plan of making a video for y'all of just preparing for the fall um, sewing wise and cleaning wise and just general garden things wise um, but and let me know what you think about the fruit trees uh, but yeah i can't believe how much change the garden has like it really does incorporate our fruit tree fruit orchard idea of creating this space for not just us now but future generations that live here and can join this space and also it incorporates my rose garden idea that I really wanted. It's, it's coming along, it's changing and it's doing its thing and I'm so happy with it. Like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Que bonito, que bonito. Look at this, me in the garden.